blind man caught driving committed disability fraud? Let's get into it. Keltabiano appears to need a lot of help. Here he is being led by his girlfriend to his disability hearing in Hudson, New York. He claimed he could not drive. He couldn't cook for himself. Yes. He says he lost his sight in a workplace accident two years earlier. I sit in the dark and listen to TV. He said in his application for benefits, I can't move around the house much because I bump into things and hurt myself. But before you start feeling sorry for him, take a look at this video, shot just days earlier. Yup, that's the same John Caltabiano. It looks like he's reading. Uh, you can see him outside a store. He uh, appears to be reading something here. A miracle for someone who can't see. Disability fraud is a big problem across the United States. Last year, the Social Security Administration received 90,000 allegations to investigate. We receive um, allegations from a number of sources. Michael Robinson is the Assistant Inspector General for Investigations for the Social Security Administration, which last year won 1,200 convictions and the return of $225 million to you and me, the taxpayers. When it comes to making a, an assessment uh, of how many are out there, we know how much has been brought to our attention. And we really rely on those fraud allegations that we receive. So when a tip came in about John Caltabiano, U.S. Attorney Richard Hartunian and his counterparts at the Social Security Administration were quick to investigate. The surveillance folks, that can be challenging work. With videos out there like this one, there can be a lot to work with. Here's John Caltabiano as the blind gentleman, chivalrous in an uncanny way for someone who might want the door held open for him instead. This is not the guy we saw getting out of his car with his former girlfriend. Absolutely not. The investigation turns up that Keltimiano did in fact lose sight in one eye in a workplace incident, but no indication of the other being affected. Let's put it this way. Should a blind man be doing this? So here you see the defendant driving a vehicle. And look, he's even able to avoid running over that woman pushing a shopping cart. It must be his sixth sense. He said he was phototrophic, so he couldn't go out in the daylight. He said he couldn't exercise. He couldn't pay bills or read medication labels. It was all false. According to the feds, Keltabiano was on track to steal $1.3 million in benefits before he got caught. Is that common? It's common in the world of fraud that people make claims that are just not true. More than 7,000 cases are opened each year of suspected con artists trying to dupe the system. This is just a dumb criminal that just needs jail time. Like he's just begging and screaming for jail time. How are you trying to scam the system by committing disability fraud and you're outside broad daylight? doing all of these actions, thinking that they're not watching you, smoking, holding doors with people, driving, reading. And you think these people are just going to allow you to just take millions away from them? No, this guy is not serious. I'm pretty sure he wanted to be in jail. So he just came up with a plan of let me do this so I could go in jail. That makes more sense to me than what he was trying to do. Lock him away. He knew what he was doing. Let me know what you guys think.